All right, welcome to Byfield, Massachusetts, Triton Regional High School, hosting today a soccer match between the Triton Boys Varsity Team and the visiting Ipswich Tigers. Both teams uh, winless coming into this match. I'm Patrick Heffernan, joined by Owen Heffernan today. So, Owen, what do you want to see out of this Triton team today? Uh, honestly, I'm not too sure what to expect, but I hope to see a lot of offense because I know Triton soccer is not known for their offense, so hopefully a few years removed that uh, has changed, but I guess we'll see. I don't know. So Owen coming in, a former captain of the Triton Varsity Soccer Boys team, mm -hmm. uh, and and a couple years removed, three years now, three seasons removed mm -hmm. from playing. Although he did have uh, the head coach for Triton as an assistant coach when he was still here, mm -hmm. and he knows a couple of the players who were freshmen at the time, seniors now. So we'll be talking about them throughout the game. Neither one of these teams has scored a goal uh, coming into today's Seriously? match. Neither team. Wow. Uh, Ipswich has been outscored 14 to zero, and Triton has been outscored 13 to 0 so wow. both teams looking to get on the board number one mm -hmm. uh, number two get a win uh, or at least come away with a point and a tie um, and I, I think it, how much do you remember about Ipswich in the past is this a team that you can recall any particularly good matches against um, I do rem I remember Ipswich well Ipswich is in the other uh, the Baker division right account so they they play um, we only see them once a year, right. if I remember correctly. Right. But uh, I just remember them being very similar to Triton in terms of, like, uh, just in terms of skill, size, like everything, because they're a similar size school. And, right. Um, so it usually was a pretty gritty match, because, like, I remember playing teams like Masco, Newburyport, mm -hmm. like North Reading. They're usually, since they're bigger schools, they usually have more skills. So, like, there's you have to sort of play different styles of games right. to bring them down to your level, but I right. feel like Ipswich and Triton are kind of similar in the terms of where everyone's at, so it's more just who can sort of put the ball in the net first. Right. Yeah. And I think one of the challenges this year with the new rules, and I'm sure we're going to talk about it a lot, is how the physicality of the game is a little bit different. Um, mm -hmm. And so for a team like Triton, where maybe they could slow a team down by being physical and take away some of the technical skills, that's not really an option uh, right. in the under the new rules. So they're going to have to use their own their own skills, uh, their own abilities to get on the board and, and get a win today. So um, Triton's keeper is going to be starting with the sun in his face. Uh, to be honest, I think that's the better the better option to play the first half with the sun when it's yeah, up on those time. Cards. Yeah, by the time it's the second half, it'll be worse, I think. So we probably right. need that. This, that's probably a home field advantage thing. Huh? Definitely a home field advantage thing. Um, so we were here last week with the girls uh, playing against North Reading. And unfortunately, by the way, it's four quarters now, not two halves. Oh, so. yes, okay. yes. Not right. two halves, nope, four quarters. So they need to play all four quarters. Uh, we only got in part of the fourth quarter last Wednesday because of a monsoon uh, with lightning that came in. So hopefully today, 20 minutes. beautiful, beautiful day out. Yep, 20 minute quarters. Um, and again, here we go. So Ipswich is going to start with the ball, swinging out to the right side. Who's the early pressure from Triton and the ball's out in here? You can see it, Owen. This is the way throw-ins go now. They're kick-ins, and they have to stay on the ground. They have so to stay on the ground? They have to stay on the ground. So it, it makes it a, a definitely a different kind of change to how you defend those. Caden Carlson, number 16. And there's a quick trip. And it's going to be Triton's, uh, or I'm sorry, Ipswich's ball. And again, this kind of kick, I think, has to stay on the ground as well. Mm. Or this is the kind that go go in the air. It's uh, it's, a ch it's a challenge to keep up with all these changes. Looks that like one's that's in the air. In the air. Yep. Yep. And that's going to be the first chance for uh, Brendan Dennis to get his hands on the ball. Senior keeper, who you, you recall playing with back in the day. Yeah, he um, he played JV my senior year, and he played goal. Um, he played goalie. He's under, I played with his older brother, Colin Dennis. Right. Um, an excellent defensive player. Mm -hmm. Ball back now to Ipswich all the way back. Chance for their keeper to do something. We unfortunately don't have an Ipswich roster this time, so we'll just have to uh, go by the numbers. Their striker number nine putting a lot of pressure on and mm. definitely can't do that. Can't do it in the box. Can't do it even with the new rules. I was going to say, I, don't, I couldn't tell if that was a new rule thing or if that was just... That looked like he pushed it yeah. down. Yeah, yeah, maybe. yeah. So uh, junior defender John DeTullo gets knocked down. DeTullio. DeTullio. Brendan Dennis, and he's yeah, going to get called well, back see, on yeah, that. See. Oh, no, but he wasn't because it was it was a uh, penalty so they, or a foul or whatever. So, uh, yep. So if that was a goal kick, that would have been called. It would have been called back, yep. Wow. 16 on the Good ball switch. now for Triton. Uh, Good defense here. A little bit risky. He's number eight. Manages to hold on to it. Taken away now by Ipswich. They can't control. 
So Triton in a 3-5-2. Uh, oh, there's a Campbell. Oh, he's out. He's out. Very heavy in uh, in midfield um, in that 3-5-2 formation. And, and going back and forth with the head coach, um, Dave Mitchell, before the game, saying that they really are depending on their seniors and their 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 um, core players up in the middle to keep things going. So you got if you got good midfielders, 3-5-2 makes sense. Nice little try on a pass there. It didn't quite make it. And that was uh, number 13, Joe Delmonico. Swinging it out to the left flank. Intercepted again by a switch. Triton with some good control. They just can't get that sort of third pass in a row. First two passes are good. Third one's getting interrupted. Ah, good little play down the side here. Chance to attack. Another chance to attack. So you almost no, no. have to always chest the ball if it's in the air. Since yeah. You can't hit it. Yep, exactly. What have to do. Joe Apt with a touch there. He's one of their strikers. Wasn't able to control it long enough. And number nine for Ipswich coming down again. Good See, little, good little body, but uh, you is can't that call a, that. Uh, is that a COVID call? That's a COVID that, call. Okay. That's a that's a COVID call. <laughs> um, and it's tough. That's a hard one to adjust right. to because you know, in, in the normal soccer, that's just you just play through that. It's a whole new game. So it's, it's a different game. It should open up for a lot more offense. Um, one of the things it said in the New York Times yesterday, because Massachusetts is the only state that's having these rules, um, is what that are for other states doing? Not having the rules or not playing? Not having the rules or not playing. Yeah. Um, but it's basically saying that, that it's great for offensive so this, players oh, that can take the advantage wall, of it. Right? Yeah, kind of. They all have to space out. You can't do a proper wall. <laughs> so it's which with the first real chance of the game that uh, looked threatening at all and unfortunately number 10 for them not able to uh, well not unfortunately but number 10 for them unable to convert alright so here's the us. first goal kick so this can't go past midfield that oh no it's like take it back unless this is how they do go I don't know it's, yeah he's got to bring somebody in and no reason why the keeper should going on. No reason why the keeper should be kicking that. Oh, I guess he can do that. All right, that makes sense. But still didn't get quite as much as he wanted on it. Riley Gagnon on the ball. Joe Apt on it. The two of them back and forth. Yep, 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 yep. And here they come down the line. Number 16's got a lot of touches today so far as a sophomore, Caden Carlson. Ball's coming to his feet a lot. Side has been on this side of the field more. Than Another chance for Demonica. Ooh. Doesn't quite able to keep it in. Only one ref. Oh, no, two refs. There's two refs, yeah. So Triton yeah, hasn't had, had first five minutes of the game, Triton really hasn't had much of an attack yet. Um, hopefully we'll see something here. Joe Apt on the ball. No, Delmonico on it. Which one is that? That's Apt. That's Apt. The two Joes are strikers. One of their two strikers, yep. There's a ball to the middle. Chance there. Triton can't quite get around to it. 14, Josh Monroe on it. So got the same uniforms. A little pushing and shoving so, in midfield, and they're going to call that on Triton. We'll call what? what was it? No, that's another COVID goal. Okay. You, t you can play defense, you just can't body him up. Oh, which again, wow, that's tough. so difficult. <laughs> so, good long ball by Ipswich. They've done that a couple times now, dropping that in. That's so and they're going to call, what's he going to call there? Nope, just going to call a corner kick. So that was fine, but that wasn't fine? Exactly. Wow. Oh, it's a long game. Wow. It's a long game. you got to get used to it. So on corner kicks, it's almost always a short corner play because you can't, just the same way that, that uh, Triton a minute ago did that little tap, you really can't center it the same way. So you got to do this. Great centering pass but by Ipswich. Chance to take a shot here. Doesn't get it cleanly. Triton all over the ball in the box. Still a lot of chaos there, though. I'm trying right, again, so unable to get it cleanly. It's going to go out and be up. If they did that short corner and then the kid kicked it into the box in the air, is that fine? That's fine. So what's the difference between that and just doing it off the corner? One make, last person in the box? I don't make the rules. I'm just calling wow. the game. Just calling the game. It still looks like soccer, though. I'll say it again yeah. and again and again. This is still soccer, even though it's a little bit adjusted little here. Bit. <laughs> so a chance here for Triton to keep possession for a little bit, swing that ball over the right side of the field. I feel like it's nice. It's, all the action's been in front of us, but I'm um, not sure why they haven't been able to bring it over the other side yet. That one doesn't go long. Instead, it's going to be a goal kick. You can hear some yelling from the sideline. 
So nice. the advantage of, of having no parents here is you don't have crazy screaming at the ref. You hear the coach. And you can more. hear everything that gets yeah. said, which is nice too. So that is going to uh, be a COVID OK kick. Chance for trying to bring it across midfield. And this time it's going to get called on Ipswich. Again, was that a COVID call? Don't know on that one. See, if we had our stats guy, Eric Gundrum, here with us, we could have a percentage of COVID. Well, we'd, we would know the rules because he's good at that kind of thing. So Triton uses using the same tactic to get a long ball up. And that time looks like a little bit of a hold. So another COVID call? No. no that, that would have in the back. I don't, I don't know what that was. I haven't seen him give an indication of which. Yeah, it's going to be Triton ball, though. All right, so like this right here, they're going to have to hit it on the ground, right? Unless they roll it. I think unless so, they unless they roll it and then go like that. Yep. Yep. So we'll see what happens here. Um, Why is he? Okay. There's the position. So remember, or can he shoot? Like, could he shoot it from here? I think he could, but it might be like, um, can't touch you know, if it can't touch anyone, which, you know, if it doesn't touch the keeper, it doesn't. Yeah. So he's just got to tap it. And here's a That's shot. It's a, a legit shot on goal. Right to the, the Ipswich keeper, though. Didn't really challenge him so much as it just gave him a chance to wake up and, and play some soccer. That's going to go over his head. That's one of the biggest challenges is because back, you can't head the ball. Yeah. You got to read it differently. Yeah. You can't anticipate you're going to be able to head the ball. Right. You got to give yourself more room. Yeah, a lot more room. It actually reminds me a lot of, of youth there's no soccer where the ball almost always bounces over somebody's head. Yeah. Um, there's well, a lot more of that youth soccer kind of element to yeah, it. Yeah, because you back, you need to back up like two more steps because the ball right. has to land in your chest. I'm right. Like, yeah, Not on your head. Yep. If switch with a kick in. Not clean. Trying with a chance to take the ball away. Instead, mm -hmm. Ipswich is going to swing it over and cross the field with it, switch the field with it. It'd be nice. I think this two, is Ipswich number two is probably their best player. Good play by number two. Number 17 for Triton, whoever that is, though. Tell, Decent defense. That's that junior John uh, Tutulio. Tutulio. Oh. Ipswich, again, playing the majority of the, the game here on the offensive end, pressuring Triton a lot more than Triton's been able to put pressure on Ipswich so far. But shots on goal are basically even at about two apiece. <laughs> You'd think I'd be able to count to more than two. I think Triton's only one. Uh, and the keeper's uh, have the whatever it is, at it's, least twice. So. It's low. It is low. Triton again. Can't seem to clear it off this right side. Looked like a little bit of a handball, but it wasn't. Not sure what. Yeah. Yep, they're calling a handball. So the coach was saying they can't set up a wall. So what they try and do instead is is basically set up in a wall and then spread out, stagger it and spread out six mm. feet each. So you get kind of a W kind of look. That's a little bit what we got going on here. Mm. There's sort of, it's a wall, but it's not a next to each other wall. And that's a shot that's going to roll all the way Why did you talk to coach? I didn't. We went back and forth on email. <laughs> oh, I see. Yeah. I was you got to prepare for these games, Owen. You got to prepare for these. I walked with you from the car here. I didn't see you run off to talk to anybody. You got to prepare for these games. So Brendan Dennis sends it up. Good ball by Ipswich to keep control of that. Try to do a little give and go. It doesn't work. And Triton trying to bring that ball down the left side again. They just haven't had a lot of luck. So I think this is a, another part of the game that's that's different and challenging is because you, you can't throw it in. You really have to rely on that sort of very short pass to make it work. Mm. Good play by 17 again. He's getting a, he's getting a workout down there. Who was yeah, that? He, uh, oh, John Tulio. He played. Um, I don't know if he ever played varsity when I was a senior, but he was like one of the better players on JV. He held his own. It's good that like I feel like. I haven't seen these guys, these kids play in a long time, so it's good to see because like the last I remember them, they were all on JV. Were JV players, our JV right? team was not like neither of right. our teams are very good, so but right. it's good to see like them doing a lot of the like the holding possession and making the right passes. It's like obviously it's just growth, but it's just good to see because it is good, yeah. yeah. And it's and it's I mean it's good soccer so far. Mm -hmm. um, would like to have seen more. Offense by Triton so far, oh, but oh, oh, here's oh. a chance now. Dirks with the ball right at his feet. Oh, you got it. Tries to set it up, and he might have squeezed it in, and he did. And there it is. Triton is off the scoreless streak, and they score first in this game at about the 9:37 mark or so in the first quarter.
Is that Joe Delmonico? Yeah. Joe Delmonico, senior midfielder, sneaks up there on a really good pass, like a really good long ball that just landed right at his feet. Looked for a minute like he wasn't going to get that shot yeah. off, but he managed to. And, you know, what's really important about that is for two teams that haven't scored. Yeah. The first goal is, like, even more momentum than a first goal in any other game because it's right. such a weight off the shoulders of the entire team over the whole season to get right. that first goal. They finally got that first goal. To be up in a game. And that, and for Ipswich, they're now down again to a team that had, was at the same spot that they were in. So it's just I feel like there's going to be a huge momentum shift, although I guess we'll see. But We'll see. And I think the other thing is, is um, you know, Ipswich also played a better first nine minutes, yeah. first ten minutes. They held the ball game. more, had more attack. Exactly, and so that's a little, uh, you know, that's a, a morale, hits your morale as well. Good play and good by the refs to let it go, although that looked like a header that should have gotten called, but we'll see. All right, here we go, Triton again. Triton with attack, another chance another to attack. Delmonico. Delmonico ball at his feet. He's got two people with him. They've got they've got an over. Oh, he just can't get that pass in the right spot. <laughs> they had a two on three going there for a second. Hip switch now coming, trying to come the other way. Is that the other thing? You get a taste of a goal and then everybody wants to go get one? That's exactly so, it. And not yeah. only that, but like... I just know, like, when that kind of, when that kind of thing happens, everyone starts talking more. Everyone's energy, like, even if they don't know, it gets built up. Like, once you get that first goal, especially in a game, but even like if you're zero and three and you haven't scored a goal yet, like, it just changes. It'll it's change. Huge. It's huge. It's huge. So the the Triton girls are also playing today uh, at Ipswich. Triton girls are also uh, without a goal so far in the season. So hopefully that will change as well mm -hmm. for both teams. Tried pressuring again. Number 20 with a good little play. They, there was a uh, Ben Norton on that one. There were three subs that came in for Triton, uh, but it happened at the goal, so I didn't catch their numbers and exactly who came in and who went out, but uh, we'll get that the next time there's a, a change. I haven't seen anybody come off of Switch's mm, bench they're yet. All sitting down. We're, uh, we're th almost 13 minutes into it now. One thing to note on that last possession. You mentioned how once one person scores a goal, everyone wants to go score a goal, especially like when it's your first. But that's kind of dangerous because in that last possession, the mid, everyone in the there's what they play a three five two, a three five two. Yeah, everyone in that in the midfield was up past the forty, right. almost past the forty, their thirty five. And then you had your defense sitting back at the 40, and there's a huge right. gap in the middle because everyone in the midfield wanted a taste of, wants right. a taste of the offense. But what it left was the midfield of Ipswich and the strikers of Ipswich sitting in with plenty of room to operate. So if that ball right. fell out one of their feet, it would have been a, it would have been like a five been on a five counter, on right. three right. counter. Right. So you, I think counter. for Mitchell or like someone or captain out there just needs to say like, hey. Like now that we got our goal, we're gonna continue to play our kind of soccer. Because once you, if you let the get to your head, right, and everyone starts running up the field, that's when you like get open, susceptible to counterattacks. Right. right. And for a team like an Ipswich team, they they haven't changed anything about their. This is what they're used to is being down. So as soon as they get that that taste, they're gonna do the same exact thing. Right. So here's a here's another COVID thing right here. So you see that the the defender has to stay behind essentially so they behind that give white the line. Cap. They got to give him the pass. Yeah, they got to at least give him that first touch. That's um, wow. Which is tough. Which is really tough. And I think that's why we've seen so many oh, crosses the way they have. Really nice. A chance oh. in the center, number ten. Couldn't quite come around on it. Fourteen, a chance to center the ball as well. Keeping it at his feet, sends it back to ten. See, this is something ten has it's taken from him from mid switch, and here comes the counter you were mentioning, Owen. Three on two. Good little shove in the back by uh, Riley Gagnon, I think. Pass, yep. Chance now for uh, Ipswich. Go, Brendan. Brendan Dennis scoops it up. Well played. He's been busy tonight. He hasn't been hasn't been for lack of shots by Ipswich so far. Nothing uh, too dangerous, but still. And that's going to be clean. Good track. Cleanly played by uh, Ipswich. And then, unfortunately, cleanly played into his own teammate's head. That's not so good. Here comes Gagnon. So Riley Gagnon had the ball at his feet, got a little bit ahead of him. Number 19, playing defense pretty well down there. Everybody falling down. Yep, yep, they're just letting him play, which is good. Play on there. Number 15 tries to cross it. Here comes a shot from 10. Nope, not enough on it. 
And again, this not being able to use your head definitely uh, <coughs> changes the game a little bit. Oh, Triton with a chance there. Number nine, I think. Um, another striker, Nick uh, Hubbard. Oh, no, it can't be because he's out. So I don't know who that is. Ipswich player goes Number down, six. groans from the Triton no. parents. Well, I guess he's no longer defender. Andrew Dot Daughtry? Dor Dor <laughs> So one thing about basketball is like you can see them so close all the time. You know, there's no mistaking who is who on the on the court. Now they all have masks on too. All right, so here, yeah, and the masks to it. So here's here's the sort of W wall that they're they're trying. That's a good shot. It's going to go off Brendan Dennis's hands and over the top of the goal. Good save. If he didn't get his hands on, I think it might have bounced down. So good play by him. So he's been, you said he's been a keeper. I mean, he's always been yeah, a keeper, he, but he's been a varsity keeper at least a year before this, or is this his uh, first year? This, I mean, he played um, when... It's his second year. It's his second year. Right, because Mark okay. Anthony graduated last right. year, right? Yeah. Okay. Getting some extra information from uh, from Mr. Dennis, filling us in <laughs> on his own kid's uh, soccer career. But he, uh, his older brother was um, played central defense. Yeah, center mid. Uh, no, or no, center, center D. Center, center D. D. He played yeah. stopper. Um, yeah. So it's a defensive-minded uh, <laughs> soccer family. <laughs> I guess so. That's all right. I do recall at least one or two um, Colin Dennis goals, though, back mm -hmm. in the soccer oh, yeah. days. So, you know. Well, you got to have that size when yep. you uh, get your corner kicks and free kicks. So about three minutes left in this first quarter. Triton really has not held the ball as much. Um, Ipswich has definitely gotten more opportunities and had more offense, but they haven't been able to convert. Are they going to call that for uh, for Ipswich? Triton's defense, I mean, 3-5-2, uh, uh, it feels like the midfield has really been played back, the, mm. other than on that, that one little uh, post-goal move. There's the kind of shot that I think is going to be dangerous because it's bouncing, and it's bouncing in a funny way. Good play, friend. Those kind of mid rangey shots that aren't, you know, they have that kind of almost double bounce coming at you. Mm. As, as a keeper, I imagine that's uh, well, that's where judge. that's where your keeper has to communicate with your defense. Oh, his, his kid could have should have shot. Ooh. I mean, like on a play like that, I feel like um, I don't know. I think it was Trevor Quigley. I think he's got to communicate with Brennan as if to he's going to play it or let it through, right. and then it just makes it right. easier for Brennan to read. Right. So that's where your communication comes in key. Good throw up by Brendan Dennis. But possession lost right away to Ipswich. And they still keep the ball on, on this offensive side of the field for them. Another little, you gotta talk right there. Another little bouncing thing. Without being able to head the ball, you really got to communicate. Yeah. You can't, like, you can't, the thing about it, not being able to head is, especially on defense, if the ball's coming in like that, you can direct the ball out or away. Right. When you're playing with your chest, you can only trap it. So yep. you can't, like, you can never clear a ball that's coming in with your chest. So the play is always going to be right. wherever the ball lands. Right. right. So it's almost it's super important to communicate, especially to the guys around you, like, where you're going to play it. Right. And there's another one of those balls in. This one's going to run all the way out, though. This switch doesn't have a chance to go after it. And John DiTullio having a good game so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> playing, playing. And there's the end of the first quarter. One, nothing. Fantastic. Triton Vikings get the goal they've been looking for for, I think, four games. Mm -hmm. uh, holding up switch. And the defense has been great. I, you know, I don't feel super comfortable saying that it's going to continue like this because I feel like the um, there's too many tries mm -hmm. from up switch. Um, and, and they need to... They need to get that ball back to midfield a little quicker and maintain possession a little better mm -hmm. um, between the, you know, essentially between the 30s, mm -hmm. not even really between the 40s, um, extend that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so what do you say, Owen? You've heard countless coaches at, I would say at halftime, but in the, at the end of the first quarter, <laughs> quarter, which you've never heard a coach at the end of the first quarter in soccer, but what are you, what are you looking to hear from the coach at this point? From Triton? Yeah. I'd say the most important thing well, looking to hear, yeah. as in, like, from as a player, as a player, and then what should the coach be saying? Well, I think, a, give it a, give I think both points of view for um, 
as a player, especially in the situation they're in, you got to like acknowledge the fact that you you put together an offensive possession, scored a goal, and that's something that you got to like you can't just can't put that aside because that's huge for the team. Um, but I think also you want to hear. Like you just want to hear what you what you can improve on just in this next quarter. You don't want to look like you play quarter by quarter, or half usually half by half. But right. you pay, play the next twenty minutes because you can't play the next. You can't play the twenty minutes after. You can only right. play the next twenty minutes. So I want to hear from the coach exactly what we're supposed to do just in this next twenty minutes because that's all you can focus on. And then from the coach, I mean, I think something super important for this team is just their spacing because uh, it. It was you could see that like as the game went on, sometimes the defense like the midfield went up too much, mm-hmm. like especially right after the first goal. But then as Ipswich held possession more, the midfield fell back too much and they couldn't get any offense because right. they were so far back. Right. So I think right. the most important thing is just to keep a consistent space on the field that allows for both because you want to be able to both attack and defend at the same time or on the flip of a coin. So like right. if the ball bounces one way, you want to be have your midfield be able to recover. But at the same time, if it flips the other way, right. you want to be able to go on the attack. And if they're too far ahead or too far behind because of how the game's going on, it, you'll never be able to get out of that sort of that system. Um, so uh, so you, you brought a lot of questions to my mind. Um, one of them is that the advantage of a, of a 3-5-2, that because you have five playing in the midfield, you have mm-hmm. more flexibility on who's flowing up and who's flowing right. back? Right. Uh, yeah, I'd say it depends on what your three in the middle of the five are doing because you can have sort of more of an uh, attack mindset at midfield and that you have two forward and one back mm-hmm. and then the reverse having two back and one forward um, but you all, like they say like you don't play you play the game like regardless of the score like you play your style but right. at the same time you're up a goal which is the smallest lead you could possibly have. <laughs> yes. But, yes. Uh, a two-goal lead is the largest lead in sports right. in soccer. The two-goal lead in soccer is the largest lead in sports. A one-goal lead in soccer is the smallest is, lead in Well, yeah. So, yeah. But all I'm saying is, like, um, yeah, I think what you do, it's really just what you do with that mid, the middle three because your wings mm-hmm. sort of do the same thing. Yeah. Um, regardless. But, and it's also the personnel, too. Like, if you, who you put in that middle three determines what kind of right what kind of um midfield you're gonna run right so it's uh andrew doherty that's been uh number six um listed as a defender but if that's him he's playing way up mm-hmm. in the striker role uh today along with um who else is up there? delmonico delmonico joe delmonico triton gonna take the ball now um shooting at the other goal they switched at the quarter instead of the half um that's actually kind of uh I'm going to call that good sportsmanship and fair, given the, the position Switch of the sun the on this field. Quarter. Switch okay. to the quarter. So, you know, you're not playing an entire uh, yeah. an entire half. half the sun right in your eyes. So, right. Um, yeah, that makes flipping sense. it up a bit. So let's see how much Strang can control the ball, how much they can move it down this side. This is their right flank now. We, we saw nothing but their left flank in the first game. So, um, it's, or the first uh, quarter, sorry. So let's see what happens here. The ball's going to spin out and go to, go to Triton. Um, I think another, another thing you said there that Owen that sort of got my, my wheels cranking is you, you know, you basically said strategy comes before the, before the game starts and, and it's tactics once you're, once you're into it. So mm-hmm. you can make tactical changes, but you really can't make any kind of big strategic moves. Right. And one, before you, I don't know what, but you're about to ask, but something that came to mind, like one tactic thing to implement is with these new rules and not being able to header the ball that puts so much pressure on the back line at the defense as I said before like right. the communication with the goalie so if you can implement like if you can tell your players from like from between the 40 and like around the 40 just send long balls at like the like in the air right towards the corners like the deep it's so hard to play the ball like just with your like just read it off your chest on the right. defense so you're gonna I mean that's how they scored earlier is that the ball played right at the head level could could, kid couldn't head it bounced over him joe damanco ran on the ball and then was able to put it in the net right so the more like 
it's so hard to play tiki taka soccer and pass through the middle of the field and that's <laughs> right. not something triton soccer has been known for so no not over the years no but being able to chip the ball in especially with these new rules like that's such something that they scored on and i feel like if they keep doing right. that they might get more right so two straight possessions or two straight kick-ins by triton and then they lose possession right away both times rather than trying to do the uh short tap and long kick they went with the uh, possession game and did not work out for him. Handball there now, right at midfield, and Ipswich's first chance to do much of anything in this in this um, the first couple of minutes of this quarter. Triton playing uh, pretty far back in terms of their defense, and that's definitely going to be a foul. Good foul. Good foul. Yeah, buddy. that's Trevor Quigley. I like to see the uh, implementation of the the long hair at center defense. There you go. So Trevor Quigley, uh, one of the at least two sport athletes on this team. He's a senior, plays hockey as well. Um, that was a good hockey move right there too. Mm. You gotta like that. Mm -hmm. um, but now we got the staggered wall right about 25 yards out. See, and here's a shot but it's gonna go off of Triton's feet. They elevated and yet the shot still hit him in the feet. So with these staggered the staggered wall, I don't know if I would put out a wall. Like I wouldn't I don't know if I'd use players in a staggered wall if because the whole point of the wall is to one block the shot but also to block the vision of the of the whoever's on the ball right. so if you can't see half the goal or whatever, it changes like how you're gonna play it. Right. But with a staggered wall, it's just like three kids standing there with big gaps in between so it opens up and that, and it takes three guys away from playing defense on certain mm. like on attack you can't mark and right exactly right, so right. i don't know if i'd use a staggered wall but oh well, we'll see how it works for yeah. them i mean they've, they've been it a couple so times it's done okay so good possession there by triton but they lose it after they cross midfield there regain the go. ball now riley gagnon with it at his feet chance to go all the that's way that's, that's delmonico sorry he turns it over right at the 20 but comes screaming back for it. Good play. It's going to be out on Triton, but great. No, no, it's going to be out on Triton, yeah. Good play by uh, Delmonico there. Staying aggressive. And they're staying up. They're, they're <laughs> he's going to, he's going to have a quick talking to by the referee. Chatting. Um, there's a little chatting going on it's, between it's, Delmonico uh, and yeah. number whoever he knocked up. Uh, yeah, I don't think it was number, yeah, I don't think it was number seven. Yeah. So let's see what Ipswich does here, how they decide to play it. And they're going to go with the long ball again. And it's going to put it right up to the... That's tough. you got to head it. Ball. Yep. Like, if you were to use his head, the ball could end up back at the 40. Right. But since he uses his chest, it only goes five yards. And it goes right to the uh, yeah. the offensive player right. or the other team. Good, good, good solid possession. And number eight's going to lose it out, unfortunately. Um, John, Emerson. John Emerson can't quite turn on that ball. It's going to be Ipswich ball again. Look well dead! So they are, uh, they're the masters of, well, not the masters, but they do like the long ball, that's for sure. Good little trap. Mm -hmm. Sends it over for number six. Can't quite get under it. And it's going to roll out. It's going to be Triton ball for their kick in. They're going to go quick. I think, oh, they have to wait for a whistle, I think, every time. Jeez. Yep, you got to wait for a whistle. That's the other change that I think is really sort of favored. Maybe it's balanced it. Maybe it's favored defenders because you have to wait for a whistle. Mm -hmm. So you can't, like, right here, you can't grab that ball that's oh, yeah. sitting yeah, right that's there huge. and you can't immediately go with it. You got to wait for a whistle. Um, which, you know, didn't come too, too late, but still. No, that's huge. Chance to I cross. Know. And Stay's going to bring it over to midfield. It's going to swing all the way over. Try to switch the field, but instead, Ipswich is going to control. Trying to flick it up. Number eight, chance to redeem himself here with the ball. There we go. Nice little play. Sends it up. Doesn't quite get enough under it. Three, three, three. And he, number, uh, who is that? 11. Eleven. So Elliot Lent. Uh, Could be Elliot Lent. Yeah, Elliot Lent. Can't quite get his foot on the ball. So we got um, one, two, three, four, five seniors on this team. Um, and almost all of them play at least two sports. Uh, which, oh, and you know, I always talk about multi-sport athletes. Mm. It's a good thing for Triton to have a program that allows for a lot of that and encourages Are there that. programs that don't have? No, but I think Triton encourages multi-sport athletes, and that was not a great call. You'll be able to see that on the replay. It definitely went off of this switch, but... Um, so it's good to get a couple of kids that play track and field, yeah. a wrestler and a hockey player on the soccer team. So, Oh, and a basketball player, of course, in, um, in uh, Brendan, Brendan Dennis. Yeah, I think um, what is beneficial about having multi-sport athletes is you bring sort of different parts of 
like this other sport to like I know like for mm -hmm. Brennan like basketball like when you're playing defense everything's sort of in front of you and being able to keep it in front of you is like the whole point of playing defense is keeping right. the ball in front of you um, so there's stuff like that like and seeing the floor is the same way you see the field it's just that it's on a bigger bigger sort of uh, bigger scope but also it's all about possession it's all about move ball movement so that's something for basketball and then for like hockey as we saw earlier Trevor quickly knocked the kid over yeah it's hard to yeah do, the physicality and yeah yep, yep. so there's a lot of things that carry over in between and definitely encouraging that is something that I think has benefited uh all sports but yeah no i think it's been it's been good to sort of a hallmark of triton i think is that the, a lot of the athletes play at the varsity level play multiple varsity mm -hmm. sports um that's a good thing and so triton again controlling possession pretty well but, yeah. but not getting it cleanly over midfield and now ipswich with a chance to do some damage here as they keep it for a long time i think part of that is because a lot of the um a lot of the upperclassmen are in the defense or in, in the midfield so mm -hmm. i think that there's a lot of there's a lot of connection between the uh, the backfield, but as it starts to move up the field, they, they lose a little bit of that that juice. And that was one of the challenges too that we we talked about a little bit before the game is that the lack of practice um, before the season means you don't have a chance for those kids that played JV last year to really gel with the uh, with the varsity players, the right. returning varsity players. And you just have to get that during the game. So the coach, um, Coach Mitchell, was saying um, that he the the first emphasis was on fitness and, and being prepared to run, mm. um, and then it was more now on the on the technique. And uh, and they look in, in that sense they look good, although they just turned the ball over there. Yeah, that's I can't imagine how hard that is because I know pre-COVID you had at least two weeks before the season even starts just to work on those things with no right. games i mean you had scrimmages but like you, all day it's just running and then just footwork so right. by the time you do get to the season that's already and and you work the off season on that stuff but with not being able to have summer league and not being able to meet up with your teammates and play it makes right. it even more difficult because everyone's right. adapting as yeah. the season's going on it was definitely not a lot of summer league uh going no. on for anybody so ball rolls out the end and it's going to be a uh trenton goal kick oh they do have that okay didn't realize that the score broke up. And about nine minutes into the uh, s the second quarter here, nine minutes until halftime, Triton not controlling the ball but doing enough to keep uh, Ipswich from getting too many quality chances. And that's a perfect ball. Lands exactly where he needs mm -hmm. it to, but Triton can't quite keep the possession on it. So again, the, the ball is on that side of the field, like both for, for it's Ipswich's right wing and Triton's left wing that mm -hmm. seem to be really possessing this game. We, I mm -hmm. mean, if you looked at, if they mapped out where the ball has been the whole time, it's just, Triton's right wing just hasn't had the ball a lot. That's a good little ball that might drop in there. Could be something happening here for Triton. Chance to send Pass, it to the middle. Flip on the defense. Number eight's Ipswich. a little bit slow coming up on it. Was on it now. Uh, Good defense by Ipswich to get it at least control of it. Uh, yeah. And then they're gonna call. That's uh, probably obstruct. I mean. Yeah. He just knocked into him off the ball. It's... So Triton with a chance there, but wasn't able to come away with anything clean. And Ipswich a chance to send that long ball. We will. Not sure How what that, that was. From behind, from behind, he used his body to push him off the ball while he was in the air. Oh. But Triton was in the air, so the referee just said that it was a foul from behind that he used his body to push him while he was in the air, and yet it was a Triton kid that was in the air. I'm not entirely sure what the ref saw on that one. It was a strange one, but Ipswich now with a chance to do some damage. Ball at his feet and can shoot, but instead tries to center it. It's going to go out. I think you got to, like, again, we're talking about tactics, I think you just got to use the whole rules of yep. this aerial, like the aerial play. Like, yeah. you just got to send balls in in the air because yep. it's just not normal soccer which gives such an advantage to the offense because you don't have to if they play it well they play it well but the, most of the time they're going to play it poorly because be usually to, yeah. even even with no, it's hard to play a ball in the air right. adding in these rules and it makes it almost impossible here comes a chance for Ipswich ah, Brendan then steps up ball. beautiful clear but Ipswich is still pressing here they still got a lot of guys forward still feel like they have the possession mm -hmm. too much in the in the uh, in the yeah, it's going out. Offensive third. That's field hockey goal. Yeah. It's a nice new field hockey goals, by the way. Mm -hmm. 
least I think they knew. They look new. So eight and a half minutes to go here in the first half. Training has had some chances. I think you're right. You know, I was never never been a fan of, of the long ball version of soccer where you mm. just throw the ball, you know, kick the ball all the way down the field and see right. what happens. But that's actually the right kind of the right kind of tactic in this. Yeah, and I'm not saying there's like, a shot and Brendan Dennis on it. Because a lot of times, like in again pre-COVID, like you play soccer and you play long ball and you see you're kicking it to the corners in the air. Right. Because if you kick it over the defense in the air, if you have a really fast striker, you'll get onto it. But most of the time, it just rolls to the goalie. Right. But now it's almost like you target the defenders and kick it at them in the air and just see how they play it. Right. Because we're like best case scenario or worst case scenario, they trap it on their chest and kick it back. Best case. Scenario, they either misplay it or it goes right over their head. And the goalie, the good thing is, the goalie doesn't know what to do because he doesn't know how he's going to play it. Right. So it's just a toss up every time. And that's better than most chances you'll get is a toss up. So. So after the game, you can have some words with your former assistant hmm. coach. Tell him what you think. <laughs> I, have to I say think you're telling him right now, so yeah. it's all right. I have to yeah. say, well, I haven't. This is the first live sport event I've been to since March. So it's definitely uh, made me want to get out there and play again. That's for sure. Different, yeah. So this is only the second broadcast we've done since uh, early March. We called the the hockey game, the playoff hockey game for Triton um, in Lowell, uh, which was fantastic. A loss, but it was a fun game to do. But, yeah, it's been since then. And, and last Wednesday was the first time. Um, and again, that's why I'm happy to be out here. And it, it is still soccer, even with all these changes yeah. and miscommunications. It's still soccer. Mm, there's more to talk um, about, too. Yeah. And here comes number 12. Ball at his feet looking really good. Puts a perfect pass in number two. Gets a chance to take a shot. Again, Brendan Dennis in the right spot. I think that orange is, like, attracting the ball. You know, <laughs> they can't help but kick it yeah. right at him. See it out of the corner of their eye. Nice throw. Good throw all the way down. Again, he plays a nice yeah, little. See, like, right the, oh, nice little flick on. But he see played that? it off his chest yeah. perfectly. But of course, the the, the kid from Ipswich was right there because right. it's as close as he could be. Right. Excellent play. Uh -huh. They're throwing the ball down. This this isn't going to work as well. Just throwing the ball down there like that. Let's see what happens. Spinning it over to that left side of Triton's offensive line. Slip and fall. Ipswich maintains. We'll sway. Ipswich is really good at bringing it from the wings into the center. Yeah. They, they don't play it down the line a lot, mm -hmm. um, which you see an awful lot of teams do. Um, they're much more confident bringing it into the middle. Yeah, I, I'm curious to see what the roster is like because I'm sure they have a lot more upperclassmen. Seems like it. Yeah, Triton's, Triton is definitely um, wow missing numbers. Uh, we don't think the Triton has a JV team. They certainly aren't playing on the field over there. Mm. Um, and the Triton Youth Soccer has had a couple of tough years where they just haven't had the same kind of recruiting mm -hmm. some of the other Triton sports have had. Um, of course, there's a lot of football Let's players. See that. Oh. Oh. So now it's what's, what's the difference between the ball literally just goes out of bounds, <laughs> and then earlier he kicked it like two yards ahead of the right. fifty, and it made no difference. And it was okay. Yeah. Who knows? Oh, that that rule makes no like of all the yeah. rules, that one makes no sense. Yeah, and I, I mean credit to the the folks who had to come up with all these rules and try to understand how do you make it, mm -hmm. how do you balance the the need for protecting the players and with, also keeping the game you know, the game. Yeah. So I mean I don't I don't want to say anything negative oh, yeah, about no, their choices. I, no. I think it was really hard to figure it out. Oh, yeah. Of all of the rules, though, that is the one I just that, would love to hear an explanation as to yeah. what that yeah. does. Oh. oh, number eight. Can't quite clear it. That's going to be a corner kick. Practice. That was actually a chance. You know, he had nothing but space. I mean, he he could have just brought it over to the to the sideline at least, um, but he tried to clear it in one kick. Some substitutions coming in now for Triton. Riley, Joe, Delmonico. And number 16, Caden uh, Carlson checking in. Sophomore, whose name we've called at least once before. I think he's played pretty well. So three kids coming off for Triton. Again, not a heavy, not a not a deep roster, so they gotta they're gonna have to keep using as many as they can in here. <laughs> and a miscommunication there by Ipswich. It's gonna turn the ball over. Less than four minutes now left in this half. Triton's still up one nothing. But Ipswich just. Pressuring, pressuring, pressuring. 
Ball comes out to Monaco on it, spins around, goes across midfield, still pressuring. One of the few times that, that Ipswich has tried to just throw the ball down the sideline mm -hmm. rather than down the middle. Mm -hmm. And it didn't, I mean, pay, I feel like didn't pay enough for him. More their offense has been through the middle, so I don't know. Ooh, miscommunication there. Triton player wasn't ready for the pass from his teammate. It's going to roll out for a goal kick. Triton, uh, Triton uh, missed, what he, missed a bullet? Not that. It's dodged a bullet on that one. Bullet. Looks like the Ipswich JV team is pulling up. Oh, so maybe there is a JV team, and they were just playing down on the way downfield. I don't know. Nah, that field doesn't exist anymore. Oh. How do you even know? It's a mile and a half away. I uh, know. <laughs> One of these things. Yeah. Oh, so, there's... Not sure what the call is now. It does make it a little more challenging when the rules are, are a little bit harder to decipher. Mm -hmm. I just would love an explanation. So here we go again. If switch controlling it again in, in the center, and there's a great shot cool. just a little off to the left side. So Brendan Dennis dodges a bullet there himself, hmm. and uh, and Triton two keeps a clean sheet with two minutes going into the half. So again, okay, stop the clock, and then they keep. Oh, they're doing a little. Oh, they're having a chat. You're right, it was number 15. Yeah, we're still chatting. It was number 15, so yep. Uh, you know, I got to tell you, I think they're going to play the entire game like that. So, and in normal pre-COVID times, you would just let them play for the most part. Mm -hmm. I mean, if they're just being physical with each other, it's just you can't do that now. So, um, it's going to be tough. Going to be going to be a long second half of these two, I think. Demonica's a captain too. Oh, we don't get him on our roster for it. No, we don't have a roster for Ipswich, unfortunately. All right, so 2.13 or so left in the half. Trying with a chance to control and possess for a little bit. Bringing it across midfield. Need that one more touch. It's that third, it's that third pass. The first two look good, and then the third pass doesn't always make it. Oh, Ipswich no. with a chance to take a clean shot, but they can't control it long enough. It's going to come out to uh, this number 16, Caden. Caden Carlson. Good little move. Great little move. Riley Gagney with it. Riley. Nice play there. Trying really controlling the ball well right now. Chance to do something. They're going to send it down the line. There's Caden on it. Ball. See, this He's got to come back with it. He's able to come back with it. Comes back. Chance to center it now. Pushed off the ball a little bit. Pushed off the ball a lot. Not going to call anything. And they're going to keep playing. It's switched with control now. They're bringing it back on the counterattack. And that was close to offsides, but it wasn't. The ref, to his credit, was right there. Richard calling for a handball. Didn't get it. It's with the chance to center it and can't. Trayton with a chance to let it roll out and be a... Uh, they call it a corner? Huh. Mm. Two off of offensive possession for Triton, off of offensive possession for Ipswich. No goal yeah. for either. And you can end see to why. end. You end can to see end in neither shot, though. Neither team had a gutter. You can see why there's only one goal between these two teams. I spoke, spoke a little soon because Ipswich here with a chance on a corner. Out waiting waiting minute of the. Of the uh, let's not do that. Oh, oh, oh. Could have been a uh, foul in the box there. Luckily, it wasn't. It's still it is down. still down. It just doesn't help his team, that's for sure. Um, mm. <laughs> you can hear this. You can hear the coach saying it's unbelievable that wasn't a foul. Meanwhile, the ball's all the way across midfield. Something less than a minute left. Uh, oh, okay. And the coach, nope, it's going the other way. It's a switch ball. Not entirely sure how anyone saw that ball all the way down there. He's still in yeah, no, out there. Right. And the ref with a coach enough, which again, because there's no crowd, you can hear every single word yeah. that comes out of everybody's well, mouth. I mean, there's much soccer than there usually is. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a good point, actually. There, there hasn't always been a whole lot of fans at a soccer match here. It's it's, right. uh, what's the story of football? So there's no football right now. There's supposed to be football, possibly in a sort of hybrid mid-year season that would start at the end of February, which... 
I'm not sure I've ever been sitting here at the end of February in this particular set of stands, but I'm not entirely sure it would be that pleasant an experience, um, especially for the players who would have to be able to, again, just like um, just like soccer, would have to come into this with very little practice um, and coming right out of hopefully basketball and wrestling and all right. their and, and hockey and all their other seasons. So it would be so like a spring sport. Instead. It would be a spring, uh, kind of late spring into or, or early spring into into the late spring kind of sport. So so there's no Thanksgiving football. Then. There's no Thanksgiving in football unfortunately but when it comes back it'll be a home game which is a good thing um all right so halftime speech this is when you can talk a little bit more about Mm. looking towards the end of the game right or do you still say hey we're only playing the next 20 minutes well that's the interesting thing in the quarters i think is you can you kind of you can shift your focus more so than you could like you can focus on one specific thing like i don't know what their strategy is or what their game plan is but for them i think they improve their spacing more in that second quarter I think if you can continue that, um, but I just think they need to get better possessions in the offensive end because I think you got to play with the lead and sort of play up and hold onto the ball more. Because right. the more you hold onto the ball, the tired, tired more tired Ips, which is going to get. So Triton, Triton has never been a high-scoring, high-powered well, offense. So what is it that in prevents? Any sport. <laughs> well, no football. Let's talk about football, basketball. Okay. No, come on. Yeah, sometimes. Right now, the golf team's undefeated. Um, oh, I don't go. think that's. Uh, I think it is actually scoring. I think they do golf in a weird way where the higher score wins. But anyway. Um, but what what is it that prevents a team like this from having more chances? It's, it's not just good defense, and I'm not saying Ipswich hasn't played good defense. You're saying for Triton, mm-hmm. what presents what prevents them from? Yeah, what keeps them a team? When and what keeps a team over the years from developing more of a an, an offensive? It's uh, just the mindset. I mean, like you see on that la- the last possession they had down here, like there was. Um, Caden Carlson, mm-hmm. and I don't remember who. Else. There was two of them on this wing that were bringing the ball. It was 24. Who was 24? Joe Apt. Joe Apt and Caden Carlson had the ball down here in the on the right wing. And if you look back, like the midfield was like it took them a few seconds, a few extra long. seconds to sort of get up the field, or even and even some of them didn't get, like they stayed around the midfield. Right. And that's the thing that like teams like um, Masco and teams like North Reading are have been good yet over the years is that they 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 have that attack mindset and as once they get on the once they get on the attack and they get into the off the offensive third it's everybody it's everybody, Throw everybody even the defense yeah. like i yeah. remember they'll all move up the field to the point where if the the play isn't there on that side they can pass it back to 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 someone in the midfield who'll send it back right. to the uh, the um, the halfback on the left, and then they'll just move it up the field on the other side. Right. But with a team like with Triton, and what we've I remember what we struggled to do is that like once the ball gets out from the def- defensive end, it's almost like you take a sigh of relief. And right. It's kind of like, right. Oh. right. And then, but you forget right. the only way we're going to score is if everyone moves up the field. Exactly. Truly attacking up the field, right. Um, right. So, yeah, I think that's something that, that's 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 really what, it's not necessarily the skill, or the speed, or the athleticism of the strikers. It's the fact that it's not just one guy who scores the goal because if you're a defensive, if you're playing on defense and all you have to focus, in, focus on is the guy with the ball, it becomes so much easier for you, but if you have to worry about the other three guys running up coming with their angles that are coming it makes it so much harder yeah well i think back i mean in in the in all the years of watching triton soccer i mean i think there's a couple of kids that stand out as being sort of pure goal scorers um Mm -hmm. khalil is the one that that jumps to mind Mm -hmm. uh, most and i think the way that coach smith used him was i mean khalil never played defense right um but khalil loved the ball at his feet and you know i'm not sure he ever passed the ball all that much but that actually that offense kind of worked it was sort of we're going to get the ball to khalil and let him score right. and if everybody just supported that when he was on the field then right. on the pitch and it worked right. um, I think if you don't have that kind of I want the ball on my feet and I'm going to do something creative with it and every single time I touch it I'm going I'm mm-hmm. to create an opportunity if you don't have that player it's hard to yeah it's hard. Then yeah, then you have to play with you know more chemistry between your strikers, mm-hmm. more chemistry between your and again we're back to the same thing. I know I've said it probably five times now that not having had practice mm-hmm. makes building that kind of chemistry mm-hmm. just that much tougher. So mm-hmm. um, yeah, and 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 it's a different game, but it's you know it's still soccer. You still see a lot of the same fundamentals. Mm-hmm. Um, possession is still. You know, nine tenths of the game, mm. and goals are nine tenths luck. Because you know yeah. the the goal that Triton got. I mean, they played him defensively pretty well, and he got a shot off. It wasn't a 
blast of a shot, you know, that we sort of maybe right. anticipated was going to happen when he had the ball at his feet at first. Um, but he still managed to get that ball in. Right. A little bit of luck there. Um, and I think for Ipswich, you know, they they like we said before that you know one nothing lead is the is the smallest lead in sports, and so yeah. you know you really have to be able to find a way if you're Ipswich to say, look, we're you know we're even in this game. If anything, we're outplaying them. We're just not outscoring them yet, right. and that, that can be frustrating too. So, yeah, for um, a team that hasn't scored five games into the season, yeah, that's that's what I'm curious to see what their halftime talk is like. Cause, yeah, I mean. The same struggles Triton is having, just which is having on the, on the other end. So, like as much as I just want to see how it, which responds to right. being down, because that's the thing is like I remember when we had rough seasons, we go up against teams like an Ipswich, a Rockport, and Amesbury, who are also in similar situations. And those are the kind of games you go in like, all right, maybe this is our chance to sort of break out right. and beat a team that we have a chance against. And I remember being on the end that Ipswich is on. It's like I remember we played Georgetown. And um, we lost two one, and it's like that was a team where like yeah. this is the why we can't them. beat right. them, and then right. who are we gonna beat? Right. And I feel like luckily it Triton's on the right side of that right now. But right. For a team like Ipswich, that's it's just it's yeah. a hard it's a hard hump to get over. It's funny you bring up Amesbury. So there's it's a really good story out of the out of mm. soccer. I don't know how much you know about this, but the, they're doing really well, right? No, they they still haven't won a game. But Amesbury's boys team hasn't won a game in I don't know. They have a terrible record over the last mm. decade, and so they went in a real new direction. And they brought in a, an Amesbury alum who played Division One soccer, mm. um, but is a 24 year old woman. Yeah, oh, and okay. and that's that's the interesting part of it. There's not I don't, she's probably the only female head, head coach. coach of a boys varsity team certainly in soccer maybe in in all of the cal yeah. and, and it's probably rare in massachusetts um so it's kind of neat to see and they they did a profile of her in the paper or an article about her in the paper just talking about how it's a and i heard this from pressman uh, the girl soccer coach the other day you know it's a long it's a long game you know you're developing right. these players you're developing a program right and she said she she knows what a division one soccer program feels like yeah she knows what the the practices are like she right. knows what the the locker room is like right and so she said she's brought that in and said this is you know this is the bar that you got to meet right and um that's great it's good for them um, yeah. um i don't know if we'll get to call one of their games this year I don't know if they're coming here for a game or not on a wednesday but uh i'm looking forward to see that team because it, it'll be interesting to see how much of a change she can make early on but it's kind of great that right. they're that it's great on the part of the amesbury and their athletic department to mm -hmm. to to take that take that different approach that you right. just don't see from really anybody else i think it's interesting that um, Triton finds himself in a similar similar spot in that like they're coming this is what the th second third third year with Dave Mitchell as the coach mm -hmm. and before him it was Brad Smith who was there for 30 years right. so regardless right. of regardless of what kind of uh, system you bring to the game. If you're there for 30 years, there's a system that you have. Yeah, yeah. And I think the system with Brad, with Coach Smith, was that um, it was really, like, it was really determined by the classes. Mm. And like, I remember every, th every, probably every three, four years, there was one class that sort of was the the image of that team yeah and um it determined like again what the locker room was like what the right. practices were right. like um so i know like the the um the like the grade that graduated in 2016 had was what 12 seniors something like yeah. that yep they had their own sort of way about things they ran practice a certain way and they had been on that team they had been on that team. Go and show who's in front of the ball. It is interesting. <laughs> the you can hear everything. Yeah, he's but, uh, not happy with his defenders right now. But um, they just had their own their own way about everything. And then the same way, like when I graduated, we had I think you had the low jacks. We had, yeah. Well, yeah, but we also had like I forget. I think it was like 10, yeah. 11. We had a large had a class lot of, of seniors, lot of seniors right. which drives the program. And right. and um. So, but what Mitchell brings? Oh, is he, great ball by Ipswich! Chance here, huge chance here, and he oh, misses. Misses just wide to the right, and that's really got to be defeating for Ipswich. That um, was a big opportunity. Yeah, that was a good shot. Well, we're off net, but was, that's what I'm saying. It's like those long balls. But so, uh, anything. Jordan Monaco coming out with uh, coach. With Mitchell, he used to coach at Masco, and he um, he he won state title, I think. 
Went at least a couple times, or he was on state tournament teams that went far. And I remember the first couple, the first year he was here as an assistant coach, he tried he tried implementing those kind of things at practices more, mm -hmm. and like just sort of the um, the just the focus and whatnot. And not that we didn't have it, but it was just right. a different style of the way you ran it. Um, so I'm curious to see like now this this is what his third year, like as he stays for longer, like how Triton might change sort of in terms of the sort of style in which right. they play, the style in which they run practices. Right. Um, the similar to like how Ainsbury with their their new coach and she's running it like a different one in college team. Like I'll see I it's like I'm curious to see how Triton pans out. So number sixteen there, uh Kale what is this kid? Caden Carlson. Caden Carlson. Um playing a really good game. A little bit of a misplay right there. Um sent it back when his teammate wasn't ready for it. But he's playing really well down this wing and again Triton seems to love bringing the ball up the left side. And the last time he actually had the ball, he tried to center it, and there was no one in the center. So Triton is really sort of, you know, they might be playing a 3-5-2, but they're like playing on one half of the mm -hmm. field, mm -hmm. one side of the field, uh, seemingly this whole time. So Ipswich attacking again, centers it, but doesn't get it to one of his teammates. Play on, good no call there. <clears throat> And again, a chance for Ipswich to do something. They keep possessing and they keep getting chances. That's a good one. Good and it's going to be a great Brendan. save by Brendan Dennis. Pushes that ball out of bounds to his right. Going to be a corner kick. It's got to make his uh, bring his confidence up a bit. I mean, when they kick it right at you and you save it, that's one yeah. thing. When you get to make a diving save, that's... Oh, uh, he's made the save, went over the bar earlier. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's been active today. Yeah, he's had a good game. Ipswich, chance to center, and they mm -hmm. do send that one over the bar. Three points. So four minutes into this second half, and it's honestly, it's been, other than the first 30 seconds, it's been all Ipswich mm. playing downhill right now. I, if it was, I guess you can play it off your neck, but not your head. That's what that looked like. Trying, trying to bring it down the wing. Chance here to possess for a while. And they send it up the wing. Nice number 10, but it's going to roll out. Who's number 10? He's been in quite a bit, too. That's another senior. That's the Chris Montes. Mm. Like, one thing Triton should do is um, not do, but just realize is that the fact that they are up 1 1 0, because I think they might forget now that they've been, this has been their fourth game and they haven't been ahead. So right. they can play in a style in which they drive the game. And I think Ipswich is right. playing that right now. But Ipswich right. is, because for Ipswich, they need to score a goal or else they're going right. to chalk up another loss. So I think Triton, which makes them more susceptible to counterattacks, right. and that they're opening up their defense because they're so desperate for a goal. So I think Triton. As much as they play their own style, they need to like adapt to the fact that they're in the commanding seat right now, and that right. comes with holding the ball for long periods of time in the back comfortably, and then on when Ipswich, like right here, like when Ipswich is, they're probably going to put more men forward than they normally would, find those holes, find those seams that might not normally be there. Right, right. And you got to look for that, and I think that comes down to a lot more of that sort of field vision, yeah. court vision we talk yeah. about in hoops, um, that really only comes through a lot of play, like right. being on the field which a lot. they don't have Which really they right haven't now. had. Yep. Yeah. They haven't had all summer, so. Right. Um, that's, that's a really nice pass by Ipswich. Chance to just one-time it, and he does, but it bounces right Good play, to Brendan right. Dennis. And I would just like to say, it's been 40, no, 20... What are they, 20 minutes? So 46 minutes and not once have I called Brendan Dennis, Colin Dennis. Pretty that's, impressed by that's that. That's pretty good. I usually just call him Denny. So I could call and him. And a training player down. They're finally going to blow the whistle there. Don't mind. I don't know if he took a shot to his head or his knee. Monroe. Josh Monroe. Macy coming out on the field. Does not look happy. Mm. So this clock stops at about 14 minutes to go in the third quarter. I didn't quite see what happened on that one. Um... So it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be Ipswich ball, I think, because Ipswich actually had possession when they blew the whistle and he was down. Indirect kick. Ipswich indirect kick from the so number it's like number fourteen. Uh, I don't remember bringing binoculars to these games. Josh Monroe. Um, Josh Monroe. Midfield. 
Getting helped off. Walking on it a little bit though, so that's good to see. Why don't they drive the cart out there? It's because sometimes it gets popped back up. Yeah. They're okay, so. Well, in this case. Yeah. Give, give uh, Trenton a chance to talk about it for a little bit. Mm. Indirect kick here, coming up for Ipswich. Again, this entire six minutes so far has been 99% um, Ipswich. So these refs, these refs are getting a workout with what they have to tell these players again and yeah. again and again. Because again, it's it's just a different Kudos set of... to them. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, yeah. They got to learn a whole new set of yeah, rules. Yeah, they do too, yep. Yep, and I'm sure they love having no, almost no parents mm -hmm. in the stands because it definitely makes it uh, more enjoyable. It looks like we have a, a, know, the track and field team or something, or the cross country team down there maybe watching the game. Where? The Triton down there on the end no, of that's that's tr that looks like a JV team. Could they? Uh, maybe. Maybe they did play somewhere. Maybe they play after. Oh, uh, they could play after. That's true. The lights Oops. are coming on. So. Yeah. And here it is from Ipswich. It's pretty good. There you go, Brendan. Brendan Dennis on it though. Looking into the sun too. That's a mm. that's a harder. Um, it's a harder play than it looked like. Caden plays this. Caden plays it pretty well so far. We Needs another pass. Yep. Another pass. Now send it. Oh. Nope. Playing around with it a bit. See, oh, that's there's a the COVID. push. That's yeah, a there's COVID a COVID. Ball. That's a COVID push. Yeah. But it's also really smart on Trenton. You know, hold yeah. the ball for a while. Let that's them, that's let interesting. Them mess like, you up. I feel like if the score stays like this, one nothing at the end of the game. If you bring the ball down to the other corner and hold it there, like, yeah. can they come get it from you? <laughs> I don't know. I don't can know you how just that sit works. Sit there for 20 minutes. I don't think you can do it for 20 minutes. That might be a little hard to hard to maintain. Good little ball up. Chance here for number 10 on Triton. If he can get to it quick, and he does, but it's going to go out and it's going to be a switch ball. Who's number 10? Oh, that's Christopher Montes. Next time I'm going to get the the uh, roster more than an hour before the game. Mm -hmm. a chance to really learn some names and numbers. Counterattack coming from Ipswich. Stopped by uh, Quigley. Quigley. Quigley to... And that's a foul, not called. The ref was truly looking away. You could see his head totally turned following the ball. But Triton manages to slow it down enough. No real counterattack yet from Ipswich. Oh, like right there. Quigley on the ball. No oh. communication. Number 20 Defense. sends it not in the right direction. Defense is looking a little shaky right now for Triton. There's another chance to control. Yeah, see, like right there, ball going straight up. Usually you'd see, like, kid from Ipswich, kid from Triton, right. shoulder to shoulder, and then jump and try to head it. But with right. this, nut, this rule, it's like, you almost like want someone else to play it. <laughs> right. Yeah, actually, you kind of do, so that you can take the bounce, the second you can take bounce. the pass right. away from their chest. Exactly. Yeah. This is so strange. Interesting, yeah. It did change his attack to some. Yeah. It certainly does. It does. And I think, like, the teams that sort of find ways to manipulate them the best are the teams yeah. that are going to end up. I mean, I looked at the standings earlier, and um, North Reading right now is 2-0-1. and Newburyport is 1-0-2. and Kentucky's 1-0. Uh, Linfield's 1-1. and Triton's 0-3. Manchester Essex is three and zero. Rockport's two zero and one. Hamilton Wenham's two one one. Georgetown is one one one. Amesbury and Ipswich are zero and three and zero and four. Yeah, so actually not a lot of. There's no dominant team out of anybody mm -hmm. you just listed. Nope. Um, a lot, lot more ties than I would have expected. Mm -hmm. um, so another, uh, another play at midfield where normal defensive soccer play, but uh, called in the other direction. Um, and that one. Good no call there. Good chance for Ipswich to do something. Great defense by Triton. And again, Ipswich. Just like right now, this here, right here. You see three defensive men up past almost the mm -hmm. 45. Like you just, I feel like you, that's something Triton needs to implement more. Just moving the whole team up field. Everybody, everybody up, almost to midfield. Mm -hmm. Because yep. that's, especially with a 1-0 lead, that's how you command. Is when you keep the ball in their defensive end. Because they're going to look for counterattacks as often right. as possible. Right now with a with a direct kick. Which, line. Honestly, I don't remember. Does that mean not in the air? Or in the no, air? direct. Well, uh, 
Yeah, I, like I guess that maybe they both can go in the no, air. I think it's a matter of, I don't know. Direct kick must be allowed to be in the air because direct kick you can kick off. That's a dangerous ball for Ipswich because the way that's going to bounce. It's in the box. Can't quite get a good hand on it. What are they going to call? Oh, uh, I think it might have been a handball in the box. Oh, Unfortunately, it was on Triton. That's direct tough. kick makes sense that it can be in the air because you can kick a direct kick on goal, but indirect yeah. you can't kick on goal, so you have to kick it in the air to somebody. So that uh, makes sense as to why right. it's in the, on the ground. So handball takes away a chance for trying to do some more damage here. But then that can be in the, unless it's direct. Good, good little one-two play there by Ipswich. Triton back on it on defense. Mm. Going to send it off, off the ref. ref. Handball on the ref. Going to call that out of bounds on Triton. No, the corner. That's crazy. That ball was going to go out on Triton, and instead it bounces Bounce off the ref. And so the ref. I don't know why they didn't play on. I don't know why they didn't play on either. And they're and they're all yelling at each other. And the ref basically was right. The ref's basically saying the Triton kid would have gotten there. So I don't think he would have. But the, try, the ref's right to call it that way, I yeah. think. It's either a no call or what he Here, called, I think. The defense needs to be running up to the 40 and pressuring the... Uh, the right. See, this is this is right here. This is when, in the film room, this is where you This is what they get to look at. There we, that go. here we go. Here we go. They're up Force now, though. They're yeah. up now. There's a chance. There's a shot. It's going to go up. Oh. Good, good dramatic save by the, uh, the Ipswich keeper there. Uh, good shot, good possession all the way around. And that one is going to go over. And that was over half, yep. yep. Over half and ahead. Does that double move it up? <laughs> to get an extra 10 yards yeah. on it. One thing that, um, going back to the whole practice system and stuff like that, one thing that Smith used to do is when we would have problems like that where we couldn't hold off on some possessions, he mm. put, he would switch and have the defensive kids play. We'd play scrimmages, and he'd have the defensive put kids play offense. Right. The offensive kids hit defense. Because if you have kids like Khalil playing center mid or center D, right. all he's right. going to want to do is move up. Right. And if you have kids like me who play play defense playing up in the front of the field I'm not going to want to move chance here for Triton and unfortunately no he is there number 16 has got his foot on the ball manages to center it slides away from number 10 Christopher Montes can't quite keep the possession on it there at, at, uh, in the center now it's back to midfield Triton that That's he was offsides, offsides. Yeah, yeah he was definitely offsides yeah that's too bad checking in we got Delmonico Andrew Daughtry and Elliot Lang. So number six has been uh, pretty active when he's been out there too, mm -hmm. coming in now. Not sure who he's going in for. We'll see shortly. So if switch, sending it over midfield. Mm. Could have called a little push them back there and they didn't thankfully. Guess they played the the advantage, oh, and, and Ipswich definitely with the advantage down. I'm not sure what's going on there. It looked like it was a handball just outside the box. I think mm. Triton getting lucky there. Another thing about the whole headball thing is like you saw right there on that kick. There's no way to play the ball forward unless you just let it go. Like with a headball, you can flick it forward right. and continue the ball in the air. Right. With a ch if you have to only play with your chest, you can right. only play it back. Right. So it's super right. important to be have communication because as you saw, the kid used his chest, passed it to right. a teammate, the ball went up the field. But if you can't head the ball, you gotta be, you just always gotta be aware. Of so here's a, chance, a huge chance for Ipswich. Um, now this is direct. It's direct. They got their staggered wall going here. Um, they're making them. See like, um, Number 17 is unmarked. Oh, and that one snuck in. Snuck in weirdly around the left side, around uh, Brendan Dennis's right side. Ball was on the ground. I did not see the angle on that at all. I might, it looked like it hit off someone in the W wall. Uh, might have come off of a Triton player. Might have ricocheted off of a Triton player and in. So Brendan Dennis, um, uh, it's hard to say he gave up the goal. That was really, uh, it was really on the defense for mm. not being able to clear that ball out of there better, mm -hmm. a little quicker. The handball that set them up for that kick. So now we're at one to one with about 25 minutes left in this game. 
And see so now this is Ipswich for a goal of the season. So that same momentum Triton felt earlier in the game, Ipswich has now. And with five minutes in the quarter and only one half left, I feel like it can be dangerous for Triton here. They got to find that momentum they had so, earlier. Tatulio comes off. It looks like uh, number 18, uh, Trevor Quigley coming off. So Triton's got to uh, got to make something happen here. Chance to bring it up that right side. They've been using this whole game. Sorry, no, it's the opposite. They've been using the left side the whole game. Yeah, Ipswich has definitely had the momentum of late. Triton has had a couple chances that just didn't didn't turn into good quality shots. And now Ipswich had a chance again, and they're going to get the ball again on a kick in. And that's out again, and again on uh, again on Triton. So try, I wouldn't say Triton wasn't able to sort of play that, slow the game down, or put the extra pressure on. It was just more a matter of not being able to clear it the right way, and then having an unlucky bounce. And there's another unlucky bounce, and a real chance to do some damage here, but Ipswich can't come around on it. Ball's going to be out. Ipswich's ball again. So yeah, number 17 on it, which just had his hand on his head. Like, oh my God, you know, we got the mm -hmm. ball in the box. We're so close to the goal. <laughs> Not getting a shot on it though. Chance to center it. Doesn't really get it to the center. Instead, it just sort of lands at Triton's feet. Triton, every single player but one on it, which was over midfield on that. Number six, can't quite control it. A little bit of chaos again. Another chance for Ipswich. Number 10 steps up, chance to shoot and he does. Oh, oh. that was about eight, nine inches from being a beautiful shot in the top right corner of that goal. Top left. Top left corner. Brendan Dennis is right. See, I'm thinking it from goal. Yeah, okay. the keeper's perspective, okay, Owen. Sure. I'm, I'm taking the keeper's perspective. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And another loss of possession there, but they get it back. Gagnon on the ball. That's Pushed a, off it. I'm not COVID sure how goal? that wasn't a COVID goal, but um, it's really hard to understand sometimes. Sometimes I think the refs probably forget. Yeah. And it's like, true. well, that's soccer. There's nothing wrong with that. Right. And then, then, then they like, oh, late. right, wait a minute. No, that's, you know. COVID, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, here, like, is that loud? Like, I can't. All that was allowed and earlier in the game it wasn't, so it's hard, hard to know. Great save Good by the uh, Ipswich player there. And he still has it at his feet, number two. Mm -hmm. He might have been the kid that scored the goal, actually. No, the kid that scored was number 10. Because it was on the free kick. A lot of chaos in there, so. Ball was already out of bounds, they're saying. Oh, ball was already out when the Ipswich kids touched it a second time, so, okay. Another corner, another dangerous uh, position for Triton. Three minutes left in this quarter. These are definitely strange looking corners, that's for sure. That might be the part of the game that just doesn't look a whole lot like soccer. Looks a little bit more like rugby. <laughs> so, Ipswich loses possession right away on the kick in. Not sure what they were thinking there. Train with a chance to run under it. It switches it all the way back. Triton needs to move up, 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 and this game has felt, this entire quarter has felt lopsided towards Ipswich, so I can't say I'm surprised that it's one-to-one. -one. Mm. But Trenton needs to uh, produce some more luck here. Mm -hmm. There's that long ball down the sideline this time instead of to the center. Again, like, it's just crazy. You can't play with your head. That would be such an easy ball normally for the defense. Yeah. Yep. That's why you just got to throw it in or kick it in every <laughs> single time is because there's just no good way to play a ball yeah. like that. 
you have to have a really, really good defense to be able to chest the ball to your foot and clear it yeah. versus just header. Because yeah. usually you could just, even then, even if you have not such a great defender, you can just header the ball out of bounds and right. wait for the, your defense right. to back up. Right. But if you target like a, a weak defender, that's a hand. Oh, every time you're going to get some, some sort of chance. So another handball just outside the box. Number on 10 again. Trenton again. Number 10 for Ipswich is going to have another time. chance to do something here. And again, here's where this this no wall really does advantage right. the the offense in a big way. Because I get I get the, like you feel like you have to put a wall because otherwise you're giving the guy a wide open shot at net. Right. But at the same time, you're leaving guys like four unmarked. Yeah. Like you just. Tricky. It's almost like it's tricky. I don't, I don't yeah, know what you I do. I don't know how you play it. What you do? It makes it. Like if I'm ten, I'm shooting the ball every time. I'm not trying oh, to pass God, it. Oh God! Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So many options. Anything can happen. But like that last time, bounced off somebody's foot. Who oh, bounces off the God. crossbar? What a shot. Ten's got the ball at his feet again. He's going to send this one Back up. That's in. not a bad shot too, but yeah. it's going to be way off to the mm -hmm. keeper's left. And that's the quarter. And that's the end of the quarter. Wow. Wow. So Ipswich, Ipswich gets one in there on a um, after a handball. They're able to bounce one off a Triton defender in the W wall that uh, puts it into the right side of Colin Dennis. Sneaks it in there. So he's got or Colin. I did it. See, I there lasted three full quarters. <laughs> three full quarters so before I, I called him Colin instead of Brendan. Yeah, that was close. Who was the keeper when you were when you were a senior? I can't recall. Uh, when I was a senior, it was Dylan. Uh, oh, right. Yep. Yep. Dylan. And uh, and and um, and Henrik and Henrik as well, right? Right. So, yeah, you platoon the keepers uh, pretty Indian, often. So, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, and you, you your team had some um, some really good soccer time, but it was so it was so heavy with seniors. You know, you had so yeah. many that the year after, I think they had one senior. Right. Yeah, um, it was Greg Lewis. Yeah, right, Greg Lewis. Which, um, and again, that's the program has really had a hard time, and a lot and a lot of that is credit to some of the other Triton sports programs which have been able to recruit right like the track team, track team um, yeah. you know in particular that's that's pulled killed kids away yep so um, all right so they got 20 minutes left Owen how are they gonna how are they gonna get that next goal win this game I mean they just got it comes down to the having because I feel like after they scored that first goal for the next like five ten minutes you saw they all just they had a different energy about them and now being now tied one one I feel like that's it's so easy to lose that momentum, but mm. you just got to realize like it's a fresh new 20 minutes. Right. It's a whole new game. Right. Just go attack it like you did that first 20 minutes, and it's, right. it's really hard as a player to like see that in the in the moment. But that's where you rely on your captains and your upperclassmen to 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 push you and to keep that same message going. And that's what it'll be interesting to see here, like who plays well and who stands out. Right. Um, yeah, I don't know. It'll. it'll it, again, it comes back to spacing, and and that comes that comes back to energy, which yep. then goes back to the fact that they haven't had a preseason. <laughs> right. so it all it all is connected. Right, right. I think if we had uh, Eric Gundermere, our stats guy, he'd be keeping track of how many times we've mentioned lack of practice <laughs> and uh, yeah. be throwing a red card right. at us for saying the same thing over yeah. and over again. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, I, th I think Triton has had bursts of energy. Um, but they've been playing on their heels for an awful lot of this game. Right. And um, when you play on your heels for a long enough, things like a handball just outside the mm -hmm. box is going to happen. I mean, that's right. that's the danger of playing too much on your heels and playing too much defense. And they, they just need to create more opportunities for themselves. Because when they have created, they've looked pretty good. I mean, they've, right. they've had a couple of possessions where they, they, um, they look pretty sharp, but they just need to create more of those opportunities. Mm hmm now, 20 more minutes to go. Now we got the Ipswich keeper staring into the sun. Mm. Speaking of the sun, I feel like we should appreciate it is how gorgeous. beautiful the stadium is. It is. It is. Because before, they used to have the away, <laughs> right. the sway stands that no one could sit on over right. there and obstructed this. Right. And it is beautiful. I would agree. It's, it's almost like a painting. How yeah, that's what I'm saying. There. It's so yeah. still. Yeah. And with the weather like it is today, like yeah. I don't think there's a better day to play a game of soccer, regardless of if you have a mask on or not. It's just so pretty. Thank you, Owen, for oh. that poetry. <laughs> uh, now let's say see some more soccer. <laughs> that was a good hit by number by that Joe Damarco, yeah. and it didn't even get a call. Yeah. That's the thing. Is like I'm. I'm 
I'd love to see what the rules are in terms of, which we probably should have looked up since we're the ones commentating on this True. game. And <laughs> Although maybe it did get a call. Maybe that's why they're bringing the ball out there now. Well, it's right and ball. Yeah. I, but the thing is, like, I thought that would have gone the other way. But I'm just yeah. saying, like, it's almost like you can't you, you can't have too much contact, but you also can't have a little contact. Right. Because if you're not trying to get the ball and you're standing too right. close, then you're going to get... So here's another thing that, that happened just there that I think, you know, is a change that you can sort of coach and, and make. They took that very casually. Like, the trit the two Triton players, like, the first guy just kind of casually kicked it and the other guy ran up yeah. on it. And that gave the uh, defender, or that gave the Ipswich kid way, way, way too much time right. to, to close that distance. I mean, right. you got to make, it's got to be sharp. It's like a pass in, in, in basketball. If you're mm -hmm. lazy with your passes, mm -hmm. the defense is going to take it away. I mm -hmm. think they need to sharpen, tighten that up, sharpen that up. You mean like the... Um the set pieces yeah the little the little tap yeah. to your to your teammate yeah it's got to be a clean tap rather than you know sort of a uh, a more casual thing right that's an switch. easy thing to work on at practice too i would think yeah that's off sides you switch with a corner that um they can't execute trading with the ball now the well, funny thing for me is like I remember when I played, I hated, hated short corners. Because mm. it's like if you have the opportunity to put the ball in, in the air with no defense, into the box, right. you're going to take it. So right. like a corner is a great opportunity for that. And then if you try to do a short corner, you allow the defense to run up. You right. lose that sort of, you lose that set piece a aspect right. of it. So now I'm like the only thing you can do Everything with short is corners, I'm glad I'm not having to play right now because I would hate hate having to do that. Which is funny, because early on in this game, you said how much you wanted to get back out there. Right. So it's funny yeah. how the game, yeah. will, the game will do that to you, yep. I guess. So, um, Ipswich, again, oh, controlling. Good, flick good little idea. <laughs> trying with the ball now. Trying to come down that left wing once again. Ball's going to run out. The Ipswich ball, I believe. Oh, calling a timeout? They still have timeouts? No. Mm. No, it's just the referee trying to shield his eyes because he can't see. Mm. I thought he was actually touching his watch for a timeout. But... Switch again. So that time they threw it more towards the middle, which I think is a, a better approach than trying to throw it down the sideline where you got less room to maneuver. Great little ball to the center. Tritons can't quite clear it yet. Crashing in on it, though. Good little touch by number two. Great shot and almost, almost did that little sneak thing. But it didn't. Brendan Dennis with a good save. Mm. Sends it out to his teammate. Chance for a little possession and control here for uh, Triton. Number two is going to go by him, though. Mm. Good step by uh, Triton. Good play by Brendan. So that's one thing too. Number two is dangerous, and you know if I'm trying, I'm, I'm I'm not holding the ball at my feet when he's closing in on me. Right. You know what I mean? I'm getting rid of. And also, we're on the same side of the field. They, he just had the ball. We went back to the side of the field. Just had the ball again. Came right. back to the side of the field. Right. You think keep the ball on the other side of the field right. away from him? Go go find somebody less dangerous. But they to seem play to against. love this. Yeah, they do. They do like this um, this side. So ball should roll out. And instead, yeah, Ipswich kick, kicks it out, gives a little extra to it. All right, 15 minutes left here. Let's see if Triton can get uh, manufacture something. Mm -hmm. Again, we're playing this whole this whole quarter so far mm -hmm. on the defensive end for Triton. I think with another tough thing about a season like this is the only time you spend together with your teammates is at practice and in games, whereas in like a normal season, you, you're in school all day together. Yeah, that's a good locker point. locker room. Like there's a lot of things in between practices and games that makes teams gel, and that's why I think it's hard, like it's even harder for yeah. things like form, like just the way you play, the style of play, because a lot of that's built off the field. Right. And all they have is on the field right now, which some teams are better at adjusting to than others. And I know for like a team like a Triton or an Ipswich that isn't super, doesn't have a lot of skill, a lot of size, a lot of speed usually, that if you can have a team, like I remember, like if you can just have a team that has really good chemistry, you'll be able to compete with teams like a, a, a Masco or right. North Reading. Right. But without, without all that, with only having practices and games, it's just, it's so hard to develop. It's harder to bring that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and not having a summer. That's not a, having a summer. Oh, like that just, is a dangerous play. Brendan okay. Dennis on it. Ooh. 
Well, see there, you couldn't. The kid could have had her. The couldn't have had her the ball. Right. Oh, this is this is a whole new game. <laughs> So on Saturday, are you going to go travel to wherever they're playing next? And uh, maybe not. A little bit too much there by Triton. Ball spins out again. Is that Riley Gagnon coming back in? Trevor Quigley. Trevor Quigley. Not sure what that call was. Although this is definitely the Dave Mitchell era at Triton because with Riley and uh, who's number six again? Andrew Daughtry with the headbands. Smith oh, yeah. never allowed headbands to be worn, <laughs> so they are—they don't even know how well they have yeah. it right now. Number ten and number two here are the two dangerous players for Ipswich, and they've, they've got the ball between them. Oh, oh. Del Monaco. Uh, a little bit, a little bit of luck there. We'll take that. And see, this is need to possess it. Need to possess it. Need to possess it. Possess it. Possess it. Or send it down. Good little ball. Number ten, chance to do something. Chance to do something. It's going to roll. Is it going to roll out? No, he's going to be able to keep it in. But Triton finally getting some offense going here. Chance to do something. Swing everybody up. Triton almost. See, this, right now, this sense of like, oh, we're moving up the field. you got to have it all the time. If, right. Especially if you're going to try to dictate a game when, you're, when they were up 1-0. Because I feel like just in these past 30 seconds, they're all, now they're all moved up the field. They're all, they get a sense of attacking them. Right. But if you if that just comes when the ball rolls that way, it's so hard to dictate a game speed right. like that. So Triton there opting to just possess and not try and throw the ball up there, but now maybe is a chance to so do something. Like, They're yelling off sides, but the rest not calling it. I don't think he was. was on the far side. Ipswich has to just throw it out of bounds. So a chance here for a chance here not, you know I say let number eight put that ball on the in the, in the box now. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but there's no one in there. They gotta move it. Quigley on it. Possesses it, maintains it, puts Good it in ball. the center. No Good ball, there. but yep, somebody is. Chance now, number 12. Riley Gagne has feet. That's a good shot by Delmonico. A little bit too high, though. That's good. They're putting pressure on, though. They gotta keep this up for another 12 minutes. Mm. It starts with the defense. Yeah, they got a little bit of luck there on that, that little put of slip that worked for them. And they're still struggling to have, figure out how to play these you see, like, bouncing balls. Ones, like Trevor's sending defense right now, but he's pushing up the field. That's what you got to do. Just got to keep the pressure upfield. So now here, I would do the little tap back and just put the to ball To the other side. In, or the other side. Or just put the ball down there. Yeah, playing that along the sideline yeah, is tough. Up. Yeah. It's tough. Move up the field. This is when you gotta come in from the backside because you switch the ball and you're more dangerous. A lot of tactics, but that's, that all, all that stuff comes in preseason yep. in the summer, which without having is so so crucial. Ooh, mm -hmm. not quite mm -hmm. the kick I think you wanted. Mm -hmm. Oh, chance now, number 13, chance to shoot. Good block by uh, Ipswich. Slide Can you slide tackle now? I'm not sure why you couldn't be able to slide tackle because you're just you're putting your feet on the was. ball. But I was looking down to see who number 13 is. It's Jim Delmonico. Chance here. Nice clean pass. See, that's what you got to do. You got to do it quicker, cleaner. Oh, oh, ball came right up into his face, and he just puts it out. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Started getting a little cold too, didn't it, Owen? No. <laughs> well, <not really. laughs> sitting here on these stands, it does start to get a little cold after a while. But I'll still, I'll take this over last week, mm. and who knows what next week's going to bring? I think next week is the boys again, if I remember correctly. Mm. Balls out on Triton. So we've switched here with the top, and they're going to send it into the middle. They are, or at least more towards the middle. Trying again, just kicking it out. Trying needs to turn the, turn the momentum around here, get the ball, possess oh, it for a while. Oh, that ball is gone forever. <laughs> eventually, eventually, you're going to look out there, and there's going to be so many that have landed out there that they're going to rise up above that. Uh, okay, another wall. Yeah. What, is, what are they doing over there? Uh, so the track was starting to sink into the Damn. yeah. So um, re they had to re the yeah they had to re whatever the track. 
Um, and if, if you're the a walking uh, tr track, not the track track. Oh, no, the track track. The track track. track. The track track. Oh, yep. Wow. Yep, the track track. What? Oh, and another handball oh, in another dangerous position. Wow. Hip switch again. I didn't see the handball at all, uh, but the, the hip switch player called it right away. The Triton kids didn't seem to protest, so. Um, number 10. Number 10. Gonna have it at his feet again. He's been dangerous. Where's number two? You wanna mark him. He's on the far left for hip switch. Marked up by a defender. There's a like sort of staggered wall. No, they're not even staggered. They're just a pretend six feet apart. On, Blue, let's go. It's definitely more like three at the most. You ready, Brendan? I'm in. Good shot. Ooh. Nope. Stopped. Nice get it, get it, get it. Trying, trying to clear it out of there. Keeping it in bounds. <clears throat> Chance to send it up off of the Ipswich player, though. So that time the wall actually worked. Mm. Never quite know what's going to happen. Ben Norton checking in. Yeah, you mentioned the um, when we got here the Campbell Cooper Campbell out with an injury. Um, Nick Hubbard Brucher out with an injury, and there was somebody else that was out with an injury. Was T F me? Track and field. Yeah. See, you got to prepare for these guys. Why did you try track? because uh, it's track and field. Mm. There's still f there's field events, you know. Yeah. I guess. Javelin, shot put, all those fun things. One of these days, maybe we'll broadcast a track and field. God, I will not be here. <laughs> Bob Lathrop shaking his head. No, <laughs> we're not doing that. Not only will I not know what to say, because I never did track, but I don't know if I want to be here for four hours. Having been to some track matches, um, or track meets, I guess they're called, um, mm. yeah, there's a lot of no nothing happening. Um, long stretches. And how do you call them? Uh, oh, so someone's in first. Oh, someone else is in first. Well, no, actually, the ri the running part would, would be that'd easier. Be, that'd to be the highlight of the day. Well, no, the highlight of the day is like, have you you've never seen, uh, I've seen never seen pole vaulting? Yes, I've seen pole vaulting, but I, I mean, I feel like pole vaulting's pretty fun to watch. Yeah. All right, back to soccer. Chance to center, and it comes off his foot, but it, uh, and that's gonna roll out. Six minutes left. So Triton, a chance to, to do something here, but they, they kind of squander it. Um, should have been a little bit more careful with the ball there, I think. Kind of looks like they're almost playing for a tie here, and they really don't need to. They need to, they need to you know, stay on the game. And you're right, there's the right thing to do. Let the other guy get it. Right. Let the other player take it off his chest, and then you take it off his feet. And you can almost start to learn how to anticipate where that ball is going to go. Mm -hmm. Well, the, the thing is, it's always going to come. Oh, no. Oh, that's a dangerous play. Number 10 on it. Yeah, Trying to maybe the thing manage is you, just to get it up. You're always going to know it's going to come in front because you can't mm -hmm. play the ball anywhere else but in front of you, especially when you're using, when you can't head the ball. So right. as a defender, as an attacker, or even a defender, regardless of who who's on the ball, it's just such an advantage to know if I don't get this ball, I know exactly where it's going to land. Yeah. And that, yeah. It's just, it just becomes down to, yeah. is the guy good enough to trap it to himself? and right. not just in front of him. And, and nine times out of ten it's, at this level, yeah, it's, it's going to bounce in front of him. Yeah, so what exactly. you need to learn to do is position yourself so yeah. that as soon as the kid traps it, you take right. it right off his feet. And on the other end, as a teammate, you got to know if the ball's coming in the air and your, your teammate's going up to chest mm -hmm. to, to, to body that. Yeah, exactly. Beat the beat mm -hmm. the, the uh, opponent to the ball. So a handball on midfield. Again, I've lost track of the Clear number students. of handballs, but it seems like there's been at least a dozen. Mm -hmm. uh, and that one's going to go into the box as well. Number 12 with a chance. Great Man, defensive play dangerous. by number 18. It is dangerous, but they're doing okay so far. With number two with the ball at his feet. That's why. And that shot doesn't go Five minutes. close enough. Five to play. Triton struggling to, to, to manufacture offense at this point. Mm -hmm. And a little uncertain on defense, but if they can just hold them out. Get one more good opportunity down there. Five minutes, that's about all you can really expect. Ipswich the ball again. 12 versus 12. Good play by number two. He is their best player out here. Mm -hmm. And that's an excellent that's, that's an excellent clearance not to give that up for a corner kick. Although, the way the short corners and all that go now, it's really hard to tell. Substitution for Ipswich. 
We'll see if this time they, number nine. This time they can make something out of it. Last time they had a corner was when Triton was able to get possession and bring it up the field and attack for a bit. So we'll see what happens. Mm. Kind of a centering pass, but not really. Nothing dangerous there. And now, like four minutes left, send everyone up the field and get something going. Can you punt the ball past midfield? No. Oh my lord. You could pass it past midfield. Is that what you were really asking? No, I'm saying like could have Brennan have punted that past midfield. And if good, not, good pressure, good pressure, good pressure. And Trayton with a chance to step oh up. My. Good move by Trevor. Find the wing. 18 sends it all the way down. Beautiful play. Calling for all sides. There's no way. His own teammate was way out of position, number five. And he's going to have to put it out of bounds. Oh. No, manages to keep it in. From here. Good turn by Ipswich. Nope. And then they're going to call that. Oh. That's just that frustrating. That was totally a COVID call. Oh. It was clean, clean, clean soccer play. But I feel like there haven't been many COVID <laughs> calls. Like, why are they so Why'd selective? Why'd they come back? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Again, I, honestly, I think these refs probably at times are, still like, learning are just learning. Yeah. And so they, they just fall into a pattern of it's soccer. And then they, then they forget. Oh, right. It is entirely soccer. Number 10. Can't get a clean look at it. Which is good for Triton. Three minutes. I'm getting Get Grant nervous. Schroeder in here <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So Schroeder came came off just a little bit ago. I think he's probably got probably been playing a lot of minutes. Just haven't had a chance to call his name as much. Sophomore midfielder. This is a really young team. Mm. That's the other thing we got to keep in mind. Mm. So Triton had a couple of couple of looks at an opportunity. They need to do a little bit more here in the last two minutes and forty. He's got he's got time and he's got help. Sends it up. Looks like a chin ball. Yeah. All right. Trayton with an opportunity to do something here. They're bringing it to the middle. The kid that just came on brings it up. Beautiful play to number 12. Kid somehow is on sides. Chance to put it in there. Oh, and he just misses. Ball still in, still in, but it's going to roll out. Oh, man, that was close. Who was that, number 12? Great oh, opportunity. Riley, Riley Gagnon, great opportunity there. Just not able to quite find that angle. But the momentum is with Triton now if they can just get the ball back and do something again with it. And they're going to call that. Oh, which way are they going to call that? Oh, this looks like the refs so couldn't decide bad. which way we were going to call it. Because the ref who was closer to it yeah. but didn't it blow the whistle and didn't really. Oh, yeah. That's so hard. That's tough. Now, this is, this is where it gets dangerous. Mm -hmm. Get it! Number 13, number 10, taking it away again. There's a good shot, but it's right at Colin. Damn. Right at Brendan <laughs> Dennis. It was close. It was close. Two times. And again, not sure why there isn't something of a call there. All right. Mm, Riley Gagnon. Like Can't quite get the right touch on it. Trying to maintain. Nope, nope, nope. They're going to give it to White. They're going to give it to Ipswich. Minute and 18 left. Not a lot of time for either one of these teams to do a lot. That was off his arm. Not sure why they're not calling a handball there. Messer just saying it's inadvertent. Number 20, chance to do something. He's got to have help. He's got to have help. He's got to get it now. Too late. Almost, 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 almost. That's going to be the game. <laughs> That's probably going to be the game because uh, unless they can manufacture something crazy right here. They're probably going to call it. I don't, it's, I don't as soon as the ball goes call out, exactly man. when the minute went, but um, that's it. No, no, Ipswich is. Oh, what a flop! That's the no. game. No, we're, we're calling that. They're actually he giving the kid over. that. He just totally fell over. He just walked, got close to a kid and fell over. So and it went over half. And it went over half. So the referee's kind of still learning, losing a little control of this game here in the very last minute. And Ipswich with a chance to do something. Triton's got to clear it out of here. That's I don't like seeing number worst. 10 anywhere near that ball. That's it, Trevor. Get it. Great play by Trevor Quigley to maintain it. Where's the whistle? And there's still number 10, and that's going to go out on that's him. Right. And that should be Triton's ball on the throw on the throw and on the kick in. And hopefully, they can at least clear it out of here and just end this game. Ooh, interesting play, and it's going to go the... Nope, That's there's the whistle. Oh, that was close. Wow. Oh, one, and, and, you know, the, the last 
two minutes of that game were the most nerve-wracking. Um, Triton had a couple of really great chances at the very end there and just couldn't couldn't quite put the ball in the net the way they needed to. But, but they scored. They got uh, got the goal got the that they goal. needed to go in. Both teams got um, both teams got a goal. Both teams came away without a loss. I guess that's one way to look at it. Both teams get a point in the standing, so that's a plus as well. And uh, I think as Triton, you can walk away from this and say, you know, they they had some flashes of really really solid play. Um, do and they then, shake you know, hands? Like, no, happens? they do a, a waving line. Oh I'm not goodness. kidding. Well, that's what I read in the paper. So um, we'll see. It's tough. It's, you wow. Know, hey, <laughs> you got to no, do something. Yeah, you got to do something, this right? Is crazy. <laughs> Um, so do they sort of stand there, wave, and then leave? I think so. I don't know. It's better than bumping elbows or something, you know? No, I think bumping um, elbows would be better. This looks a little I bit mean, like, like they're going to play Red Rover at this yeah. point. You know? Oh, you just clap. <laughs> Clapping for each other. And it was good. That was a good game, though. I mean, yeah. all the way around. And, I, you know, I do I do credit the refs for having to figure out when you... two kids on crutches. When do you call a play and when do you, when do you call a COVID foul and when do you not? Yeah. And I do think they probably just like the players are sometimes trying to go up and head the ball. The yeah. rest are falling into that pattern of not quite remembering. Right. I think the um, hardest thing is that regardless of when it's called, like when they call those the COVID call, like whenever yeah. they're too close, it's hard because it's like, that's normal soccer. So yeah. like to be penalized for that, it's yeah. like... It's tough. <sighs> but the important thing is Triton comes away with a point. Mm -hmm. uh, they look good. They look good. At, and there were real flashes of, of excellent soccer out there. And um, for a young team, um, you know, they, get, they had some changes coming. Experience. It's good. Yeah. That's good. So, thank you, Owen. I appreciate you coming on the game with me. Thank you very much. We're not supposed to gotcha. shake hands. It's supposed to be six feet apart. But anyway, thank you for um, for being here. And we'll be back, I believe, next Wednesday. I can't recall if it's a boys' game or a girls' game, um, but a home game here for Triton, and uh, two more games after that, weather providing, and uh, we'll get through the season. So, thank you, Bob. Appreciate thank it very you. much. And uh, we're out.